Hello and welcome to Ray Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good. No complaints whatsoever. It's Monday. We're going to start the week off strong. I'm going to promise you guys something. I'm going to try to do two videos for you guys a day. So if you guys could do me the favor of watching them videos, I'll make sure I keep at least a minimum of two videos on this channel per day. Enough with the blackmail, I do have some news for you and our first topic of the video, Snezi Msomi sets the record straight on Sangoma claims. Idol's essay star Snezi Msomi has cleared the air after a recent picture of her wearing Ispanda spark rumors that she is training to be a traditional healer. Really guys, I mean there are various reasons why anyone would wear Ispanda, you know whether it be someone died in your family, umsebe and like I say, various numerous reasons but nonetheless like I said the Idol's essay star war the traditional wristband that is made from goat or cow skin but uh, she has told the papers that she is just respecting her culture this is what she said i was shocked and thought that clearly people are confused when a friend of mine brought it to my attention becoming a sangoma is something that is very big and i don't want to confuse people respecting the rules of the house does not change the relationship i have in god or what i believe in yes people are confused but there's no way i will disobey the elders just to please the world. So going off what she's saying in that particular statement, it does seem that uh, the request for her to wear is Pandla actually came from higher up from the elders and definitely credit to her to listening to her elders. Now she also responded to those who questioned whether or not she is still a Christian. Yes indeed, when you are apparently are training to be a Sangoma, your Christianity gets questioned. Anyway, she replied to that and said, I am a born again Christian and I love God so much, but in being born again, the Bible taught me a lot about respect and strongly believing that. That respect would only apply at church, so to clear the air, I am not going through any initiation, but I am not going to suddenly stop or hide the things that I do. Now it does seem that Chinezi recently paid tribute to her late grandmother for teaching her to stay humble and grounded. She said, I am a child here at home and culture is culture. I stay at home, I don't stay at my own place. So there's no such thing as I don't do certain things. People don't understand that in a black household, you can be a breadwinner, you could be famous and all, but in a black household, you'll always be a kid. Yeah, Nesh Nezi, personally, I feel you and I hear you loud and clear. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Candace Mudisile says that she will stay dating until she finds Mr. Right, even if men are underwhelming. Mm, I felt that underwhelming, right? Mm, mm, mm. But nonetheless, actress Candice Mudisile has weighed in on a discussion about the difficulties of dating and she says that she is committed to finding Mr. Right. Now, she took to Twitter uh, about last week to share her thoughts on uh, Twitter's claim that starting a new relationship is a lot of work. Now, she admitted that the idea of starting over was scary but the journey has been incredibly insightful now she said that despite the frustration she was still willing to keep dating until she finds her perfect match she wrote the following are men generally underwhelming absolutely but i will keep on dating until i meet someone worth the commitment love is the hill i'll gladly die on Look, like I said, the underwhelming part, I don't know who you'd be dating. Personally, I like to think of myself as overwhelming. Absolutely overwhelming. But I will say I love the last part of that particular statement that she is willing to die on that hill of love. Personally, I will say that Red Live is really about love. You know, we love love here at Red Live and uh, I love people who pursue love and I love people who get love in the end of the day. So all the best to her, of course. But yeah, ladies, more specifically, please comment down below and let me know, have you ever encountered an underwhelming man and exactly what makes him underwhelming? Our next topic, Makadzi admits that King Munada beef was a publicity stunt. Mm -hmm. So it seems like Limpopo's finest are not beefing after all, as singer Makadzi has revealed that she and King Munada were never beefing over the recently released song, Ganama. Now I did do a video about the particular beef a few days ago, you know, the pair announced that they were working together in studio and that there was going to be a song that was supposed to come out and then it emerged that they are actually fighting over the rights to the song Ganama. Now after that it looked like there was trouble in paradise when the two of them started beefing on Facebook, they did some 
live videos. King Monada posted a video saying that uh, the song was actually his and doesn't understand why Makazi wants to claim ownership of the song. So the release under King Monada music. Makati came through with her own live video saying that King Monada treated her like a dog. So now I'm here where I am today. I will never allow anyone to come and use my talent like a shapist, like what Monada want to do. You get my point? So I was talking about the previous lifestyle of Monada, which you guys, you didn't know. Monada used to treat me like a dog, but now I like, I, I, I stood up. I didn't even care whether Monada is not working at, at my record label or what. I wanted to work with him because the only thing that I wanted from Monada was his talent and us to unite as Limbopo artists. But Monada, oh, he always acts smart when it comes to artists. He always wants to use people all the time. You get my point? And that he's a good manipulator later and uses this particular face to get people on his side and remember i'm saying i composed the song i came up with a melody when benza is busy doing the beat the things he held benza to do a beat he's lying that facial expression of mother he's just trying to fool you So yes, harsh words were exchanged, fans were left puzzled, but Makati has come forward to say that the fight that we witnessed online was nothing more than a publicity stunt. Taking to social media, Makati came through to clear the air and posted the following. Tomorrow we are dropping Kanama official audio, Makati and King Monada featuring Prince Benza. I would like to inform everyone that me and Monada, we are fine. We did those live videos for publicity stunt and it really worked for our song to be known before the release hashtag Ganama. Yeah, ne. Okay. Now, anyways, this actually led to a lot of uproar on social media, with many feeling that it was unnecessary to promote a song that was already turning heads. Now, taking a look at some of the responses on social media, one user replied to Makati's tweet and wrote, This is disgraceful, sis, especially in light of the exploitation we continue to face as women in this industry. You lost a fan. Another user wrote, The thing about publicity stunts is that you don't reveal that it was a damn publicity stunt. And lastly, another user wrote, This is why Summer Awards mize your music. Mm. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know, have you guys heard the song, Kanama? And also let me know what you guys think about Makati coming through and admitting that, uh, you know what, uh, the whole beef between her and King Monada was actually just a publicity stunt to promote the song. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.